Good afternoon ladies and gents and welcome back to the channel. So this is now the eighth vlog for the homeless journey, I do believe. Today we are joined by Ms. Archie. <laughs> and we also have this little tyke today. Oh you can this is Nova. Nova say hello. Nova, say hello. hello. Say hello Nova. Say hello. Say hello. hello. <laughs> <laughs> Nova, do you even know what you've got? What is it, baby? <laughs> so we're currently in B&M's, again doing a little bit of shopping um, and we're looking for a couple of activities to do tonight so it's Archie's choice <laughs> So which one did you want Archie? What we're doing tonight? You wanted some games didn't you? So which one Arch? Oh yeah! <laughs> having that one? Yeah What's that one? Oh the whack-a-mole I never told you to get that, did I, Arch? You know what I mean? What else are we getting, Arch? <laughs> we having a pool? Yeah. Right, so we've got the whack a mole in the pool tonight. Good choice, Arch, good choice. We've also got some really good news for you today in this video, so stay tuned. Uh, in true fashion, Janine's on the smelly aisle again. She's lost a plug in, she swears blind, she knows where it was. I and she's blaming me. No, yeah, you did. See it in your eyeballs. I think I've lost it, so. Yeah, whatever. I get blamed for absolutely everything that gets lost in the house. But when Neen loses something, I should have moved it. What your buddy got there now, you? <laughs> Babe, she wants a morning scrub, mummy. <laughs> right, come on, we'll get you some sweeties. Quick, look, what's over there? Wow. Archie's minding the toys. That's going to be a good night tonight. We've got some marshmallows. See, I knew one belong. Spotted them straight away. Love it. I love that one. I love. Oh, purple. <laughs> They're all cool, aren't they? I love them as well. Look at that. Oh, I really love all of it. We may have to redecorate for mm -hmm. sure. Right, shopping is completing action. We are now going over to IKEA because a very, very kind subscriber sent me over a pack of coffee a while ago. And I've not got a coffee grinder to use that. I really want to taste it. So, IKEA, here we come. What you got? Oh. What is it? Can I have that? Thank you. We'll play that tonight. Yeah, you need to let go now. <laughs> Thank you, baby. You're getting in your seat. There you go. I'm looking forward to them games tonight. I love that hatch. Have you just bought a plastic McDonald's cup? No. It looks like. I got it from B&M when I went to our mum's house. Just in case. Okay. Right, so we're ready to experience the wonderful every day. We got the keys. We got a secret. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So every time we visit IKEA, we always have a competition of who's is who's room. And this is definitely a Janine room. <laughs> so this is definitely a front room for Janine. Do you agree, darling? Grab a biscuit a hatch. I bet they're only about 20 years old, then. I know. Now this is lovely. Oh, do you like this? Yes, I do. I don't really like how orange the wood is. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. You actually with me on that? Huang. 150 pounds. 181. Why? You have to pay seven for the cushion. What are you? Oh, it's a bit garish in here, isn't it, darling? What does this remind you of? A primary school. A primary school? My preschool? My deputy air teacher. Stephen, I just found my perfect home. Oh, my, I yeah. know that. That's ours. Oh, yeah. And your perfect kitchen. Literally, this is my perfect home. I know the likes it. Oh my god. Oh my god, I love it. 
Is he well good? I personally do love this kettle. I think that is well cool. Personally, would not have this kettle. Stephen would have it. I don't think it's a caravan. We've already got a perfectly good kettle. Kettle log. Kettle in the caravan. Archie, I've already got a dishwasher. Never breaks. Now this, guys and girls, would definitely be my room. Oh yeah. Exquisiteness. It isn't it, mate? Yeah. Absolutely divine. And I'll have to say this would be our ideal hope. Well mine, anyway. No, I do like it. Oh you do like it, don't you? So the lady does like it. Do you like your arch? Yeah, but it's just too bad. It is a bit dark. That's... Oh, oh, it's just perfect. Do you know what, babe? I can just picture the with a nice lemon iced tea in your hand with a book. Yeah. That's actually a cheese. <laughs> yeah, I do like that. It's cool. It's so nice. Like this, this setup. Well, who knows? You know. <laughs> He's definitely found his piece of furniture today. What is this one? Oh, <laughs> get that! Awesome, that, isn't it? What, what do these do? Oh, presets. This is very, very cool, aren't it? Archie's Fortnite station. Yeah. Archie, I think that could be yours, mate. Yeah. I treat you. What the hell? Sono speaker, IKEA version. Yeah. Na night, Nova. Go, go to Bobo's now. Na night. <laughs> <laughs> so we have actually found the new um, caravan fridge. Babe, do you reckon? I go right in its place, so. Yeah. <laughs> I think you can fit a couple of can beans in there. I think you'd fit one bean in there, mate. I think after this, shall we get a coffee and have a yes. cake? Yes. Indeed. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and today we're going to do some cooking on my big grill. On his big grill. <laughs> so this is going to be like a special kind. It's this is actually called Grill Scar. This is actually called Grill Scar, right? It's gas barbecue. It's Jeremy. Get your facts and specifications right out. How original, how original. We're going to cook our sausages and our patties on here. So no massive sirloin steaks and like rack of ribs? That's tomorrow. You're cheap. So Janine has just pointed this out as her kitchen. This is what Janine would prefer. Stuff. Apart from the black stuff, so pretty much everything in here. She loves this sink at home. She doesn't care other than the toaster. And this is definitely my kitchen. Lovely, lovely wood finish. Reckon arch. See, this is my kitchen. Now. This is Janine's new cooking show that you've all been asking for. <laughs> what are we having today, darling? Um, stir fried noodles. Stir fried noodles. Me. Yeah. Well tasty. <laughs> Mmm, how many mouths is that mean? <laughs> we only came in for a pissing grinder. Literally. Managed to accumulate this already. Guys, I just bought my new apartment. It's definitely not like an IKEA. So yeah, just take your wellies off here. And if you don't want your wellies to get a Laundry, which is a in there. This, uh, grand... <laughs> this is a grand scene. Did you just walk right into that window? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. And night night. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. Night night. I'll leave you here now. No? Okay. Oh, 
This is Stephen on a day-to-day -day basis, having my mum round after him. But there is no TV, so unfortunately he's just watching his house. <laughs> Archie! No, no, no. Monkey! You need to get some solicitors together, mate. What's that? They copied your likeness to a T. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, delicious coffee. I like to start the show. Oh, I like to look good, man. I thought it was just You do this every time. Much needed. Oh, what you got there, darling? We've got some jammy, might fit like jammy dodgers. Why? No, but she did get a coffee after all that. And she just got me this a pair of kecks in chocolate. Filled Those wafers with milk chocolate. What was it? Nice. Nice. Like blue ribbon. ribbon? Yeah, not bad. Get your chocolate kecks at IKEA. How stupid is that? They sell all the coffee pots, cups, beans, everything, kettles, but they don't sell a bleeding grinder. Oh, they don't sell grinders, Archie. Look at bloody size of place. Seven years of my life they stole from me. Security guard here, remember, Arch? Christmas in Ikea already as well. Bloody at Christmas in September. Bonkers. <laughs> Are you feeling festive yet? So, Archie's already got the toys out. Smashing all out of the uh, whack-a-mole. It's pretty cool, isn't it, Arch? Yeah. Speed four. Go. Bloody bluey on the screen already. Nova's chilling out now on the floor. Sorry, I'm violent. And uh, Janine's having a hot one. So it's Stephen's turn now. One coin going in. <laughs> See if I can beat my score. I'm gonna go. Speed one, two, speed three. Go on, speed three. He's confident with speed three. Oh. Hit it a bit harder. I'm not hitting it hard enough. You're not hitting it. <laughs> Where's the score? Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, you got a bleeding. Yeah, you got to press it. <laughs> well, that's a bit crap. <laughs> Told you that's why I was doing it, like. And he was roasting me. Oh, he might actually beat me here, guys. Get in there! <laughs> he beat me. So what do you rate the game? Uh, four out of ten. Good. I well, rate... Because you can't hit them like that. You gotta go. <laughs> I rate it about a six. It's alright. A six? Yeah, bad, it's alright. Right, it's a bit bloody cramped in here now. So there's Archie's bed at the top. Got the bunk set up. And then we've got Neen and this one. <laughs> under there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're just having a jolly old good time, oh, aren't we, Arch? Yeah, we'll leave that door open. Oh, we can get in. Oh! Welcome back to the caravan, ladies and gents. So that was a pretty um, eventful weekend. <laughs> the kids have since gone. Um, they had fun, didn't they? Oh, yeah, I think we had more fun than them. I know, yeah. We, <laughs> we stole them toys from them. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we have got some news that we'd like to share with you now. So, would you like to sell them after three? 
One, two, three. We're pregnant! <laughs> no, we're not pregnant. We're that would pregnant. take like That's... three wise men and a shining light coming from the east for us to be pregnant. But... You make it out like we don't even... Would you like to tell them? Mm -hmm. Go on then. We've got a flat. Yep, yeah, we've been offered a flat. <laughs> uh, so our so homeless exciting. adventure ends here. Now, some of you may be very, very happy for us. The rest of you may want to have seen more going on in the caravan. Yeah. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, it's my missus, beautiful missus mental health that matters to me most. And we can't turn it down. It's a two-bedroom flat in our local town. Um, we've been on that housing list for five years. And the funny thing is, just last week, was it? Was it last week we signed that? Tenancy yeah, with. so on, on the Sunday we signed a tenancy with the campsite um, to become residents on the campsite, um, which was amazing, um, really happy about, you know, we had somewhere permanent. And then literally on the Monday, Stephen got a phone call from the housing association um, asking us to go in for a meeting on the Tuesday morning. So we went to this meeting Tuesday morning, absolutely just thinking they're just going to ask for us updated details which they have done before didn't think anything of it did we no. um we, we basically walked in and within two minutes she told us that she'd got us a two-bedroom flat and we're like you, you probably get it in six to eight weeks uh two to six two to six weeks and um we were just we was in shock weren't we we were like it, well, what smart. the hell because we've literally just signed a contract, we'd literally just signed a contract with the yeah. farm for six months and it was yeah. a six month contract so now we're thinking bugger me now we've got to pay six months rent on the farm yeah and now we've got to find rent for the flat as well so yeah. absolutely it was great news but also a little bit like oh my god what double edged do? double edged so yeah absolutely comes to mind. and we didn't want you know we felt really bad on the camp owners because the campsite owners because they have been they've been brilliant with us haven't they we they literally can't fault one. them yeah. can't fault them at all and the campsite's beautiful clean amazing campsite um but i just think I think, like like Sim says, for my personal reasons. Mental health. Um, I think I, I don't think I could do the winter. Um, the summer has been lovely, and I this the caravan. I absolutely adore the caravan. I really do. Adore it has it. been a home. For this would be the fourth week we've been in the caravan, yeah. and it has been a home for us. And I haven't, I haven't, I've not been uncomfortable in here. I haven't been sad in here. It's it's been. It's been an absolute massive weight on my shoulders, and, and honestly, truthfully, I can't be any more grateful for the caravan. On hand on heart, I couldn't have done the tent any longer. Yeah. Um, and hand on heart, Tony has blessed us more than he'll ever know um, with the caravan, and we are I, honestly, truthfully, I am so grateful, so so grateful. Um, but I just don't think I could have done it full time. Um, holiday, amazing. I feel like I've had like a, an eight week holiday, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I am ready now to, I'm ready for a home now, yeah. Cool. So, regarding the caravan, um, we have been talking, we were talking first, deciding what to do with it. <coughs> oh gosh, don't choke <laughs> on me darling, we've got a flat hand. <laughs> <coughs> you okay? Yeah. Get a drinky bro. So, ladies and gents, regarding the caravan, we have been talking um, and we thought it would have been nice to keep hold of the caravan to make future memories um, and carry on with the videos inside the caravan. But speaking to the farm owners, the tenants of the farm, they do have families and individuals ringing up um, time to time, asking if they actually have any accommodation on the farm to help them um, while they are homeless. And unfortunately, the farm doesn't have any facilities like that. So we've been talking to uh, the farm owners and we've decided we are going to donate the caravan to the farm just in case anyone in the future does ring up uh, with the same sort of circumstances as us and they will have somewhere to put their heads down um, and at least somewhere to come away from the elements. We're going to leave everything in the caravan apart from the telly because my dad's claimed that um, but everything pots, else. Pots, yeah. pans, plates, I've got old plates, not, not old, they're not old, they're perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, knife, forks, pots, pans. Yeah, things um, don't need. Basically. Cups. I've left a few cups and things. Um, so the you know if they do end up um, having someone on the site that is homeless, they've got things in it. They'll have the basic uh, necessities to cook themselves a meal or. 
do themselves a nice brew. So the caravan has gone to a good home. It was gifted to us, so it's only right. It's only right that we gift it for. I mean, we was, was going to gift it to a homeless person, wasn't we? But yeah, I yeah. think this is just a better option because it's helping more than one family. Yeah. And it's it, on a site that's lovely. Do you know what I mean? So I think this is is a better option. It is. So we get our keys on the twenty first of this month. Twenty. Twentieth of this Friday month. Friday the twentieth. Friday. Friday of the twentieth. <laughs> <laughs> Friday of the 20th of the Roman Earth. <laughs> so Friday the 20th of this month we get our keys for the new flat. Now, this is where you guys come into it. We can carry on with the videos. Janine is quite happy to do so and, you know, deal with her anxiety on camera. <laughs> but we have decided if she does want to go ahead with it and you guys want to carry on seeing Janine on the screen. Um, I have got not, not, not just cooking videos though. Like, no, I don't want to wanna do. just do cooking videos. Yeah, do because... vlogs and makeup and. Well, not makeup because I'm not very good at makeup. You are. She's awesome at makeup. I'm guys. really not, guys. You are. You're doing makeup videos. Um, <laughs> but I, um, I just think if just the vlogging. Like I, I quite, I did quite enjoy the vlogging with yeah. our Archie and Nova. I thought I really enjoyed that. And, there you go. Yeah. yeah. And cooking and whatever just else. Doing a mix doing. of things. Yeah. I think. So yeah. if you want to see Janine. Being all on me. My daughter. But you will be doing your own content. If you have your own channel, I will help you do the cooking ones. But vlogging, you will be out with your I own, want camera. My own channel. She will. <laughs> so, um, if you want to see Janine on camera on the channel, still, I have got a second channel there that was given back to me very kindly by YouTube uh, after taking it off me for two years. So we do have a vacant channel there. It's already got around 700 odd subs on it. If you guys would like to see Janine with her own channel, just let us know down in the comments, and I will set that up for her. Um, and then you can all migrate from here. No, don't do that. Stay here. Right, keep your sub here, but also go across and sub to Jean. That would be very, very much appreciated. But, um, can you think of anything else you'd like to mention? Uh, we will do um, a tour of the flat when we get it, if you want that as well. Yep. Um, and obviously, we do think, I'm, I'm hoping and praying that we get, we've been told that it gets new kitchen and bathroom. We're going to get a new kitchen and bathroom in the flat eventually, but we're hoping it's been done before we move in. Well, I personally am hoping of that. Um, <laughs> so obviously, we we do want to obviously make it home and cosy. So if you want to follow us along on that journey, let us know and we can vlog that and furnishing it with our meagre furniture. Yeah. From, uh... Oh, hey, no, we got a bargain sofa. Oh yeah, we did get a bargain um, leather three seater and two seater the other day. I was coming back from work in the van, and my eyeballs. Just kind of got pulled to the side like magnets, and I seen this um, black three and two leather um, suite. Mm -hmm. It's hundred quid. It looks new. Well, it costs hundred and ten, including delivery. Yeah. So that's the first piece of furniture we've got yeah. because this is another double-edged sword. Well, it's not a double-edged sword. What do you call it? We've got rid of. It's another buggery. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A week before we heard about the flat, and before we signed the tenancy for this place, we sold all our large appliances. So the fridge, washer and dryer, we didn't have a fridge. the bed, no we didn't, the washer and dryer, <laughs> TV, my beloved 65 inch TV, um, bed, bed. I got rid of all me, a two grand bed, <laughs> silent night bed, so sad about that, and uh, a few other bits, so we sold them all thinking we weren't going to need it because we did resign ourselves to living in the caravan, because was literally signing the contract on Sunday, so. and then everything just came snowballing at once after that, so, so now we just... Now I time. see it as it's a massive fresh start for us. <clears throat> All the memories from before, yeah, uh, before we even became homeless, they're in long distance now. Yeah, um, they've not been very good memories over the past no. seven years. And we've got nothing to remind us of that. So this yeah. is a fresh start for the pair of us. Mm -hmm. um, and that is it. So happy ending. I know we have been resolved a lot faster than a lot of people um, and a lot of you guys that have commented on the videos. And we feel during our journey and it is it's um this, this is not a brag this is genuinely it's not, definitely not, not a brag it, it's we're just a, very very very, very lucky grateful, yeah, and like i said lucky. we've been on that list for five years you know mm -hmm. what i mean um so we're just very very lucky indeed i will say the flat did not come from um our local housing association they are absolutely useless so same side council Let's take, well it's a new charter yeah, isn't it yeah, jigsaw. Charter, yeah absolutely useless um i got fobbed from one like Pillar to post, I were told false promises on every phone call. We did bidding up to four times on all the properties available and we had absolutely diddly squat. So um, it was actually one that we'd totally forgot about that we'd been on the list for and yeah. they came through. And it's literally the centre of Ashton. <coughs> centre of Ashton, two minutes work. from your works, yeah. 
and not far from mine. It's just and perfect, really. That's where we both live, so it is and, awesome. You know, I mean, I'm not going to lie and say it's oh, it's going to be gorgeous because well, on the inside, the outside looks like it's part of the outside apocalypse. Outside looks terrible, but we don't. You know, we're not one of the, we're not these sort of people that like, you know, come. And, you see, as I you, what, what I'm trying to say, like. These cookies are delicious, by um, the way. <laughs> you see us, oh, see us. What? What? What's that word? I don't know what you're trying to say. I'm just staring at your cleavage. Like, like <laughs> we're not the sort of people like, oh, come on, look up what I've got. Like, we're not. You know, oh. you see us as see us as we come. Yeah, yeah. What's that word? Take us as you see us. Take us as you see us. That's the one. You know, like obviously on the outside it isn't going to look great, but on the inside it's going to be homely, cozy, and welcoming, and that's what we want. Exactly. Cookies cooking. But that is the last video you will see in the caravan, ladies and gents. So I hope you've enjoyed our journey. Um, we certainly have. And we're oh, yeah. absolutely just amazed by your absolute support um, mm -hmm. for us on this journey. Yeah. That has been unwavering. Absolutely. Um, Thank you are. so, so much. So honestly. grateful, yeah. But the journey will continue in the new flat. More vlogs, more cooking, and more bushcraft. Even though you don't like me bushcraft. Oh, don't say that. Shut your mouth, all right? Me bushcraft. <laughs> <laughs> Every pissing comment, I don't like bushcraft, I like your cooking videos though. <laughs> well, it's my bushcraft channel! <laughs> Wait till this camera's gone, I swear. <laughs> Stop doing that. I know, people are going to think Seriously. Carry on talking to me like that. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. We're hilarious. So, we bid you a good evening. Um, we're going to finish our coffee and watch some TV. And chill for the rest of the night. Because we both have work in the morning. Mm -hmm. That's right, I'm employed and I do work. <laughs> All right, ladies and gents, have a great night. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.